beautiful event all around. And hopefully none, nothing that we would be revisited anytime exactly. soon. Any time of the year, certainly not in, in the fall. I mean, it, it was even October, it was even into uh, November, let alone meteorological winter. Uh, this morning, a very chilly morning, uh, almost to get a little of the taste of a preview of some November rain. Uh, a little bit gray outside. We've had some light rain overnight. So looking at back at that Halloween blizzard of 1991, some of the snowfall totals we saw around the area, 6.1 inches Rochester, uh, more than 27 inches in Minneapolis, Duluth, an all time record 36.8 inches of snowfall in that three day stretch. So just a nasty situation there, but uh, it's just rain for us today. Very slight sprinkles and drizzle. That'll go on for another couple of hours and things will slowly improve. Still a blustery though. The winds will be with us. It'll be really chilly. Throughout the day, temperatures will struggle to get back to the 50s, uh, something we failed to do all day yesterday. Rainfall amounts, uh, of course, this had something to, to do with the, the, the lack of warmth yesterday. A bit of a chilly, cold rain. Uh, record setting amount of rainfall for the date in Rochester, 68 hundredths of an inch yesterday at the airport. Mesa City, 1.3 inches. Austin, 1.58 inches of rainfall. Right now, it's a little drier, not quite as wet, but still a couple of spots of drizzle around the area. We'll expect that until about 7, maybe 8 o'clock this morning. 45 right now at the Rochester Airport, 46 degrees in Austin and 48 in Decorah on the way to the low 50s. Not a, a large leap in temperatures by any means. The clouds and those cool winds will kind of combat that uh, slow warming process. 45 right now in Rochester feels like 36 winds, 23 gusting to 33 miles per hour. A lot of clouds around uh, again, very much in the back side of the system. So some cold winds sprinkles. That's about it though. The clouds will take all day to be out of here by this evening. We'll begin to see some breaks and we'll get a chance to enjoy some warmth that comes in for the West for tomorrow. 45 in Rochester, Green Bay 50 behind the storm system 30s and that's a little more typical for this time of the year and that's what we're going to be seeing over the weekend. 30s for overnight temperatures next week. Sadly, we'll be wishing for even that because it's going to be colder than the 30s in some of those uh, overnight temperatures next week. But blustery and cool today. Gray skies, again, the, the dampness we have right now will be out of here in just a couple of hours, so at least an improvement in, of sorts. But tomorrow, the best day, we'll have light winds and sunshine, and actually temperatures warmer than average. So that'll be kind of a nice change of pace for us. 44 for the morning commute, drizzle with some wind-driven drizzles, uh, those winds. Uh, some sprinkles or drizzle until about 7, maybe 8 o'clock, then drier skies, gray skies though, throughout the day. Winds slowly letting up just a little bit this afternoon. Look for highs around 52. Temperatures this evening with clear skies and uh, diminishing breeze really take a tumble quickly. 40s in the evening, dropping to the 30s after midnight and coming to an end uh, overall around the mid-30s tomorrow morning before we see a nice recovery with that at the Saturday sunshine. Showers will be out. Clouds hold on until the very late. They may see a few peaks of the sun just before sunset uh, around 6 o'clock. But for the most part, a gray day. Some clear skies, light winds, temperatures of 30s tonight, and a lot of sun tomorrow. Light southwest breeze. Daytime temperatures tomorrow in the uh, upper 50s. Tomorrow by far the warmest day of the next several. Low 50s today, but upper 50s Saturday. And then Sunday, not a terrible day, just cooler. A little breezy with some sunshine, though. And uh, here's a more specific look at Halloween forecast. We're going to show you this a time or two. We'll be in the 40s at first, dropping to the upper 30s in uh, the uh, evening time frame for Halloween. So what you expect this time of the year, close to 40 in the evening hours. That's that's what we normally see. 51, the seasonal average for this date will be uh, in that range today. Warmer than that tomorrow, but the rest of the next several days looking quite a bit colder, but uh, mainly dry for quite some time. And blustery and cool, a lot of clouds today, topping out around uh, 52. North winds up to 25 miles per hour at first, uh, but diminishing in the afternoon. Now for tonight, a lighter breeze, partly cloudy skies, 36 overnight. And seven day forecast will have temperatures in the 50s for tomorrow, and then just 40s and only 40s for highs uh, with lows in the 20s next week. Long stretch of pretty chilly stuff. I feel like those monsters and mummies on top of the downtown <laughs> Rochester buildings would fit right in here. They with really our would. Festive little they would, set. yeah. That would be kind of fun, too. You should call them up, Ted, and, and get, <laughs> them, get them down here. <laughs>